I've got something in my hands that's so unique. I'm probably gonna guess that you don't even know what it is. You wanna take a guess? Green garlic. See? Come on, man. I'm in, the, I'm in the middle of shooting the video. Well, do you mind? Oh, okay, okay. Thank you. Okay. So unique. You already said it, that's right. Uh, green garlic. I'm Carlos Nino. No. Okay. No. I'm Carlos Nino with Chef's Produce, and this is our weekly market update. For next week, March, what is today? March the 15th, 2021. Now, for you who may not know, green garlic, isn't necessarily anything different except that it's garlic that's immature just like some other people i may know it's garlic that has just been harvested before it reaches full maturity and you'll probably look at it and say man it kind of looks like a scallion but it's got the bulb on the end it's basically what it is many people who are familiar with green garlic are going to use this as a great substitute for garlic because it is much milder then it's more mature, brother, the regular garlic. The green garlic is really only available for March through April. <sighs> yeah, what he said. Please, do you, do you mind? Okay. Nutritionally, green garlic is gonna have a modest amount of vitamin V. There, I said it, vitamin Do you, do you mind? <laughs> now, before you go to the store and just go try to find green garlic, you kind of need to know what you're going to look for first. How do you choose green garlic? Well, when it comes off our delivery trucks, it's going to look like a green onion, but the smell of garlic is unmistakable. That's a good indicator that the plant that you have in your hand that looks like a green onion is in fact green garlic. When cooking with green garlic, many, many parts of the plant can be used. You can chop the stems, the leaves, and the immature bulb which can actually be separated into cloves. The most popular uses of the green garlic are gonna go into salads, soups, or even stir fries. But more than likely, you're not gonna find garlic in this big of a size when you go to the grocery store. One of the main things I think you should keep in mind is clean it first. You wanna clean your green garlic first. It's either coming straight from the field. And just remember, you wanna store it in a sealed container. You wanna put like a damp paper towel and place it in a plastic bag. How's that, was that okay? Sounds great. Thank you so much for joining us again. We post these videos every Thursday night. Reach out to your sales representative or customer service representative so we can put one of these green garlics on a truck for you. We sell them by the pound or a case. You can have a case of green garlic. You can find us on any of our social media platforms. I'll let you do this one, go ahead. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, and LinkedIn. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And we'll see you next week.